Uh, my name is Lena, and today I'm speaking to, to Rebecca, whom I also met, surprise, through LinkedIn. <laughs> so <laughs> Rebecca lives in England, relatively local to me, and she's a registered nutritionist and naturopath who empowers women with chronic health conditions to live healthy and naturally. But I'm going to let Rebecca introduce herself. So Rebecca, welcome. It's great to talk to you today. Thank you, Lena, and you. Yeah, thank, thank you for having me on. Sure. Um, so please just tell us a little bit more about, you know, about what you do. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to. So I'm, I'm a holistic nutritionist and naturopath. And as you've just said, I help women with chronic conditions heal naturally um, using food as a medicine. And I do that really by helping women to create a very deep connection to food that enables their healing journey. So that's great, Rebecca. I mean, it, it's amazing. I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of, you know, a lot of women who need this help, especially now when we're stuck at home and it's so easy to reach out for this food and that food. And, you know, with the rain outside, uh, it's just not always very pleasant to get out. So it, it's great. But what really motivates you to do that? You know, have you always done this? Well, I think, I mean, I think it's, you know, at, at the moment in the world that we're living in, we're seeing so many chronic conditions emerging that are, you know, that are a seeming mystery, you know, they're not being solved and people are going around in circles, not being able to get to the bottom of their illnesses. So this was very much my story. I, I um, you know, I had, uh, I've had a long health journey which started in childhood. Um, but really in my early twenties, my health began to more seriously deteriorate. And um, I started suffering from chronic fatigue type symptoms and digestive issues and reproductive problems and skin eruptions and a whole set of symptoms that were, you know, seemingly disconnected. And I spent many years going from doctor to doctor and seeing practitioners asking, you know, what's going on and never really getting a satisfying answer or a solution that was working for me. Um, so, you know, in that time of searching, I became very determined to find my, my own way through naturally um, using food as my medicine because that was what I was drawn to. And, I, and I, I didn't want to go down the alternative route of taking medications, which was what I was being offered in the form of, um, you know, HRT or, or hormonal solutions, for example. Um, and so I immersed myself in studying food and nutrition and natural medicine um, so that I could find answers for myself. And really the question I kept asking was why, you know, why am I suffering from all these symptoms? How are they connected? And why on earth does no one have any answers? Um, so, you know, over the years with, with changes to my diet and lifestyle, I, I did see improvements. Um, but it wasn't really until I came across the work of, of Anthony William, also known as the medical medium, that I was able to see an immense improvement in my health. And I think the reason for that is because Anthony describes and explains the root causes of chronic conditions very, very clearly in a way that nobody else has. And also explains how we can create a very, very deep connection to food that enables us to heal. And with that information, I was able to forge forward and, and really recover my health um, in a very profound way. So it was quite a journey. And I, and I think what motivates me now to do this work is that, A, there's so many people suffering from chronic health symptoms and conditions, and especially women. Um, it affects, you know, chronic conditions affect women disproportionately to men. And there are reasons for that. Um, and also because I know what it's like to not have the answers that you need in order to get better and just how torturous a journey that can be. And, you know, I think what I want to, the message that I want to put out there is that there absolutely is answers and food is an incredibly powerful tool um, in order to recover your health, you know, along, alongside other things. It's not the only thing, but it is, it is it's absolutely key. It's a foundation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I completely agree. You know, there are obviously other things we need to kind of balance, but food is super important. But I'm just curious about something because you obviously find your way with food that really helped you, but we are all very different. So maybe something that agrees with you, you may not agree with me. 
So how would you then tailor it? Do you like okay. take people, do you take blood or how, how does, how do you know? Sure. Yeah, no, really good question. Well, you know, it's, it's, I think, I think we've become very complicated in how we, in how we deal with food and how we look at food. And there's so much misinformation out there. But actually, the, the fundamentals of food are very, very simple. You know, a, a diet that is predominantly based around fruit and vegetables is ultimately a healing diet. And when you're dealing with a symptom or a condition, you're dealing with it because something, something has made you sick, whether that's viruses, bacteria, an overload of toxins, radiation, for example. These are all, these are all um, causes of what make us sick and in order to remove those causes we need to clear out the body because it's an accumulation that makes us sick and to clear out the body you need to go through a cleansing process and we can use food to do that fruits and vegetables are inherently cleansing but they're also inherently nourishing so it's this beautiful combination of using the food that we have to cleanse and nourish the body and it's not so much about you know finding precise foods that suit one person or another it's about looking at fruits and vegetables in their most simple form as healing foods and how can we use them to really deeply cleanse the body and really deeply nourish the body at the same time okay that, that's really interesting because i mean i eat a lot i don't really eat fruit but i eat a lot of vegetables i mean my breakfast lunch and dinner i it's just massive salads literally i love it but what is your view on you know some some people say don't eat carbohydrates because it releases sugar do you kind of have the poor carbohydrates in your diet absolutely so i'm i'm a big big advocate of the right kind of carbohydrate in your diet and ultimately you know fruit is number one on that list and i would say if there's if there's two things that have helped me to heal my health it's fruit and reducing my fats to a you know to a to a great extent um, and the reason for that is because fruit is so full of the right kinds of sugars that your body thrives on so our bodies our bodies don't run on fats and proteins our bodies run on sugars glucose and mineral salts and we get those glucose and mineral salts from fruits and vegetables so you know it's a very different um uh you know it's a very different philosophy to what is out there because there's a lot of fruit fear that's out there at the moment people are right and healthy fats them. is what you should be eating that's what a lot of people are saying absolutely but if you're trying to get rid of a chronic condition from the body no so, matter what kind of fats you're eating if it's too much fat for the body then then you you can't detoxify appropriately so in order to really cleanse and detoxify and get that stuff out you need to go very low fat for a period of time to really heal the body. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. So I guess it's more for like kind of a, a detox and for a healing process, right? You should up your fruit and vegetable intake. But once you kind of stabilize, then it's okay to add those healthy fats. Like we're talking avocados and fish oh, and absolutely. coconut oils. and Oh, for sure. And I mean, we can have those as part of the healing diet. It's just that when you're really trying to cleanse, you need to, to keep those fats, you know, on the lower side. Um, but absolutely, we can, we can have healthy fats in our diets. And, you know, avocados would be the, one of the most healing foods on the planet. Along mm, with I love it. Well, it is. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing for sure. And what about alcohol? What is your view on it? Like, I'm not talking, you know, like drinking, boozing, but let's say like a glass or two of nice red wine. What is your view on it? Well, you know, my my personal view is that the odd glass of red wine is delicious. But what I would say is that it's really it's really a hindrance to the liver. So if you're if you're healing and trying to overcome something, then any alcohol in the body is just not helpful. And I've, I've also found, you know, from my own experience that when, when you start this healing journey and it becomes a lifestyle, it's not that you just do your healing and then you're finished. This has become my way of living. I live and breathe this work myself. And you become very, very sensitive to things. Your body tells you very quickly what it likes and what it doesn't like. So unfortunately, you know, my tolerance for alcohol is, is pretty low these days. And um, it, yeah, it doesn't take much to make me feel pretty awful the next day. So I, I tend to avoid it for the most part, because my liver says, 
no always no yeah Interesting. <laughs> yeah i must say i mean i love my red wine and you know it's like oh i should probably stop for a while and i'm like no nah. <laughs> i'm fine my body doesn't tell me to stop so i'm just gonna keep going <laughs> okay well that, that's so i mean there's something you know you said earlier about the topic you know it's really close to my heart about the radiation and how eating obviously is very important but let's say you know if you live in a in the environments which is toxic and a lot of us do right because yeah. we've got so much technology around us not to mention our neighbors like wi-fi boosters and i know there's 5g coming out especially in america and i believe australia not so much here yet yeah. and I mean, that mass that that kind of stresses our body so much um mm -hmm. what is your view you know how how can that damage our health absolutely yeah so, such a good question so you know, radiation is ultimately one of the one of the root causes of chronic health conditions in itself. And it's also a trigger for any illness that might be harbored in the body. And the problem is today that we live in a world where we're completely saturated by the effects of radiation from every angle. Um, but we've sort of forgotten that that's the case. You know, we, we, we sort of ignore it because it's just there all the time. But actually, the, the effect that it's having on our health behind the scenes is really profound. And I would say, along with viruses and bacteria and toxins such as heavy metals and herbicides and pesticides, these, according to Anthony William, for example, are the four root causes of chronic conditions. And, you know, and when I say chronic conditions, I'm, you know, I'm not talking about having to be bed bound and, you know, on death's door. Chronic conditions are persistent and ongoing conditions or symptoms in the body. So, you know, a woman might be suffering from something like PCOS or fibroids or endometriosis that affects her life every single day or it might be IBS or constipation or diarrhea. These are chronic conditions that affect somebody's life every single day, you know, and, um, and radiation can play a big role in that because it can be a trigger, it, you know, for those, for those underlying conditions to flare up. So with regards to food and radiation, there's such a, a big crossover because we can use food as a powerful tool to protect us from radiation, um, because foods like sea vegetables, for example, onions, um, ginger, some of the herbs like dandelion and nettle, these are foods that actually absorb radiation in our body. So it helps to protect us from radiation in that way. So, you know, again, food is an amazingly powerful tool for everybody to be using, not just people who are experiencing symptoms, um, but also as a protective mechanism from the effects of radiation. Right. So that's really interesting. So basically, you know, if you're living in a home with lots of phones, you don't have EMF protection, then just um, eat the food that can absorb that. Absolutely. So one good tip, for example, is to put you, you can stack potatoes. I didn't mention potatoes, but you can put potatoes around your um, around your router and the potatoes will actually absorb the radiation from the router. I mean, food food is so it food, you know, food is a medicine and it's an understated medicine. It's absolutely incredible. And, you know, the other thing I wanted to mention was, you know, that, that, that food is not only used to heal the physical body. What's so powerful about it is that it gives us access to healing the deeper layers of our emotional and spiritual bodies. But when you're, you know, when, when people are experiencing a condition or symptoms and they're not well, it's often very hard for them to access those deeper layers of themselves because they're they're so um, blocked up with what's going on and when we use food to you know peel away those blocks through cleansing and nourishing protocols then food becomes a doorway to access the deeper layers of ourselves should want, should someone want to explore those deeper layers um, so it's a very very beautiful um, medicine for us to be working with all of us, not just those with chronic conditions. That's that's really great. I mean, you know, I mean, all this just few food, something is like, I just need to eat. And of course I try, I mean, I eat, I try and eat healthy, but I never really realized, you know, to what extent it is important <laughs> until I spoke uh, to you now. So. Absolutely, there's, yeah, so much, there's so much more to it, you know. And, and I can and, imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. So if there was something, you know, special you can gift women, what would it be? So I think the, 
the gift that I like to give all women, the women, all women, and you know, those women that I work with, I like to be able to help them feel at home in their bodies. Because I think when you're when you're not well, it's very difficult to um, to feel comfortable or at home in your bodies. And I hear this from women time and time again, that they just somehow don't feel settled or comfortable within themselves. And you know, when we're facing so many um, uh, when we're up against it like we are with, with viruses and bacteria and, and toxins and radiation, it's, it's difficult, you know, it's difficult to feel at home in this body. Um, but, but food provides that pathway that we can um, connect with ourselves and, and clear out what we need to clear out and help us feel free inside and help us to create a safe haven inside. And ultimately, that's our birthright. It is absolutely our birthright to feel at home in our bodies. So, so that's the gift. That's the gift. That's a great gift. So thank you. So and then on our final, just a final question. So if anybody wanted to get in touch with you, um, I know you're obviously on LinkedIn and I will share a link to your profile. Yeah. Have, you, have you got a website or where else can they get hold of you? Absolutely. Yeah. So I have I have a website, which is www.rebecca-oreilly.com. So um, people are welcome to find me there and also on Instagram at Rebecca O'Reilly Health. Um, and I've recently just finished um, a short ebook um, taking people through the initial stages of the process that I take through, take my, my clients through. And this is all about the morning cleanse, which is really the starting place where, where you begin any healing journey. Um, so if people are interested in, in, um, in accessing my, my ebook, then they're very welcome to, to get in touch with me. And that will be going up on my website quite soon. Brilliant. Well, I'll definitely share all the links um, after this video. So in the comments below or at the end of the video, so everybody, you know, whoever's interested can get in touch with you. Right. That was really, really interesting. And thank you so much for sharing all this information with us today. Thanks, Rebecca. Thank yeah, my pleasure, Lena. Thank you. Yeah.